Welcome to the third webinar of the series Automatic Control Design of the Amazing Ball with the ACAS Lab Suite specifically devoted to describe concepts and fundamentals of rapid control prototyping in ACAS Lab. This webinar, named Rapid Control Prototyping, in details includes a description of the state of art of the rapid control prototyping and of the ACAS Lab innovative approach for the rapid control prototyping. We will then describe how you can manage and carry on the rapid control prototyping that we will sometime simply call RCP in ACAS Lab. In particular, how you manage the real-time scheduling and we will present the three available rapid control prototyping sub-modes in ACAS Lab, the RCP on field, the slow motion and the sim RCP. Finally, we will list all the ACAS Lab tools available for supporting you during the rapid control prototyping. Let's introduce what is rapid control prototyping at the present state of art. One of the final phases in developing a control system application consists in porting the control algorithm software code from the simulation environment to the final hardware target on which the application will run and where it is quite difficult to find and fix possible problems and bugs. For these reasons, it's important to consider an intermediate control design phase, the rapid control prototyping. Nowadays, the rapid control prototyping, or RCP, is a process which lets the engineer quickly test and iterate its control strategies on a real-time computer with real input-output devices. The plant under control is real and the control strategy is downloaded and then executed in real time in a specific and separated real-time hardware box that can be commanded through a non-real-time host computer and that has limited capabilities to record data for tuning and debugging purposes. In fact, the typical rapid control prototyping system is composed by a mathematic modeling program, a symbolic input-output block set, by a real-time target computer, typically embedded computer with input-output, such as analogical, digital and serial, by a host PC with communication link to the target computer, and with a graphical user interface application for controlling the real-time process. The RCP activity foresees then the use of different development environments and hardware boxes. This method forces the developer to export and import continuously and iteratively software modules among the different environments. These conversions are often uncomfortable with the risk to introduce bugs at each input-export of the source code. ACASLAB proposes an innovative approach for performing rapid control prototyping. Such approach is based on the idea of gathering together all in one integrated development environment, the ACASLAB suite, and in a standard PC that we call from now on the ACASLAB RCP platform, all the control design activities, from the system concepts to the simulation until the RCP with real plant and concluding with the automatic generation of software for the target. This allows to avoid exporting and porting the control code among different software tools that can generate bugs in the exported code. Following this innovative approach, ACASLAB provides three operative modes that will be shortly described in the following slides. First, the modeling and like real-time operative mode. Second, the rapid control prototyping, which will be particularly presented in this webinar. And third, the target operative mode. All the software developed and generated is subdivided in application software and basic software. The application software is related to the programming of the plant, the control and the mission area, and it represents the target independent part of the software. The basic software represents the target dependent part of the software, in charge of managing hardware interfaces and scheduling in real-time tasks and activities. 
We point out that following the ACAS lab innovative approach, the application software generated for the first operative mode is exactly the same application software that will be used in the other operative modes and that will be transferred in the final target while nowadays the application software is typically generated by different software tools during the different control design phases so in RCP you will use exactly the same application software generated and already tested in the modeling and like real time plus the basic software for RCP again in target you will use exactly the same application software already tested in the two previous modes plus the basic software for the target. Having always the same application software as the debugging and the tuning of your software are easier and safer.